Hello there, my name is Carlo and welcome to another exciting tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be trying to show you guys how to get your 3D animation, uh, placing it from 3DS Max into After Effects in the most quickest way possible. Um, also a very effective way I've found, um, especially for small objects, um, such as things like this. This is a very, very... Um, you know very quick sort of butterfly um, that I've created uh, within uh, 3ds Max um, and he looks pretty cool as you can see um, there's no animation on him yet um, but what I'll do is in the next stage I'll load up another butterfly I did um, and show exactly the same um, with animation um, involved so okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put him into sort of position um, to about here um, he's going to go into a desert uh, scene um, he's going to be resting on a branch um, which is going to make him look quite cool um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come up to here and then first of all we're going to check and set up our render settings so first obviously um, there's only one frame in this because um, he is not animated um, but what I'm going to do is I want to come down here and select HD video I'll do all my rendering in HD video and then I'm going to click 720p um, like so then I'm going to create a file um, source um, I'm going to make this a JPEG and I'm going to call it one just for the sake of this tutorial um, I'm going to keep my image best large and I'm going to keep my smooth in to about 50% then I'm going to click OK so our rendering setup is done now what we're going to do is we're going to create a green screen for this little fella uh, which is very very easy to do uh, within Max um, what we're going to do is going to come up to rendering we're going to come up to environment or press 8 on the keyboard um, you'll be presented with uh, this little box here showing your various colors now when you're using a proper background you'll use a map uh, for that and you'll import that um, separately um, but what I'm going to do is I want to concentrate on the color here I'm going to select my green and make sure my green arrow here which is the shading of this is all the way to the top so it's the most vibrant green I can get so I'm going to click OK with that I'm also going to change my ambient to green click OK and then I want my sorry I'm not going to click my ambient to green I'm being a nana I'll put that down to black and I'm just going to keep everything else the same and then I'm just going to come out of that so now when we render one frame as you can see we've got a really really nice green screen background so um, I'm going to render this production out and then I'm going to ch sorry, change my, let me just change my save position um, so I can put it on the desktop. So let's go to file one, JPEG again. So I'll have this guy, so I didn't want it to go to that file. And I'm just going to quickly save it to my desktop, which is just done. And then I'm going to hit the render. And that is rendered to my desktop. So now, um, I'm going to shrink that and look around for my little butterfly and as you can see if I open him up now he's a nice green butterfly with a green screen background okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to open up After Effects just wait for After Effects to open you can do this with video anything you want um, which is very very cool um, I've already got a butterfly which has been um, with a green screen that I've created and what I'll do is um, I'll show you guys how to import that as well so it said I've got not enough available space so I might have to do a hard drive cleanup so what we're going to do is we're going to import our butterfly so we're going to find it on our desktop and this is our little guy here and we're just going to simply drop him into our comp like so 
and then with that selected we're going to right click come up to effects keying and key light we're going to take our little blobber here find a green area anywhere on the screen which is green select that and that will turn it to black go back to our projects and then we're going to import our background so my background I use is in my pictures folder which is this one we'll drag that just below our image then we're gonna fix that we're gonna select our little guy here and then we're just gonna scale him down zoom in and we're just gonna place him simply on top of a branch like so let's make him look a bit more and then what you would do is you can just color correct him the best you best way you want um, to look good within your um, background or film footage so obviously if you're doing this in film footage you'll have to track this uh, butterfly um, but there's a lot of tutorials I've got a couple of tutorials on my channel showing you guys how to sort of track footage anyway okay so if we go to file new comp new project I'll show you it with a live action butterfly that I created so we're not going to save that one we're going to go to file and I'm going to go to import file and on my desktop I've got one prepared somewhere which is here I'm going to drop that into my comp and this is just an animated butterfly as you can see just flapping his wings only 60 frames long and nothing special so same as the other piece of footage we're gonna go to keying key lights we're gonna get our blobber change that black go to our project we're gonna import our background footage and like I say you can use pictures um, or you can use film it's entirely up to you I'm gonna drop that below same way we're going to scale that down now because this is uh, actually animated obviously we need to do a bit of work on this butterfly to make him look good so we're going to scale him down really small I'm going to zoom in about there I'm going to place him into position where we want him obviously butterflies are quite small and then we're going to place him say on that branch there like that and now when we render him he looks a bit stretched you can see the wings are a bit stretchy but that's something we can fix in a second just by playing around with our butterfly settings so we can just make him a little bit more blobby like that and just replacing him and then try and as you can see he looks a lot more better as he's flapping his wings on that bush and obviously what we do is we just scale him down just a little bit more make him a little bit more fatter so when he actually flaps his wings as you can see he looks a lot better on that branch you can also rotate him if you want I want to rotate him too much um, because then you're gonna see a bit of um, fakeness but if your model is pretty realistic then obviously he's gonna look uh, pretty pretty good so what you would do to that afterwards obviously he looks a bit too bright there he's in the desert go to a scene which you can see the butterfly the most probably zoom in just a little bit then we're gonna go to our video we're gonna go to effects we're gonna go to color correction I want to go to CC and then we're just going to play around with our color correction just a tiny bit sort of matching him there with the grass um, behind him so yeah that's it really I mean if we go back to here we're we'll rendering him out again and what you've got now is a cool animated butterfly within your scene in After Effects so obviously you know if this was a moving piece of video 
you would actually track and use nulls in After Effects to track it. So this piece will move with you know properly within the footage. But what you could do is another little trick: is you can select your video like so, hit P on the keyboard, pos position, create a position now, move the key along to about there and then drag him to about there like that and now what you've got is you've got a flying butterfly so it's sort of limitless what you can do if you look at that he's flying across there in 3d space and he's going to land on the other branch so if we do that in slow motion Oh, let's try and slow that down a bit let's go back there and we'll just use our timeline as you can see he's pretty realistic as you can see he's flying across like so and he's going to land on the branch up there as you can see there which is a pretty pretty awesome little effect so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial as much as me giving it um, next tutorial I'll be doing something very similar within 3ds max but we're going to be looking at big bigger objects and bigger things moving uh, within a 3d space so I hope you've had fun looking at this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the very next tutorial thanks for listening and take care guys